This is the FM Gold Channel of All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on Prime Minister's Address to the Nation in Man Ki Baat. The participants are Ashok Tandon, Political Analyst and Nikunj Garg, Journalist. Mr. Tandon, uh, just as the Prime Minister mentioned himself that this is the first time he is interacting with the nation through radio in 2020, it is also a new decade. It is also a Republic Day's occasion and that is why he probably, he said himself that he changed the timings also to address the nation through Man Ki Baat. So today he was trying to overarchingly give a message and if one were to read one message in his Man Ki Baat, that message would be social transformation. Certainly, but uh, apart from what you said, it is also very significant that on a busy day like Republic Day, when the Prime Minister starts his day with the Amar Jawan Jyoti and then there is a guest from abroad, in spite of that, he decided to do Manki Bad because it was the first of the decade, it was the first of the new year and also happened to be on a Republic Day. So therefore, he began his Manki Bad by congratulating the nation on Republic Day and also talking about uh, let's have a collective pledge that we have to make new India. So all the new beginning he said we have to make and in that context I think the most underlying message in the Prime Minister's monkey bath was about the violence. He said there cannot be any solution through violence. There can be peaceful solution to all the problems and without making any mention of uh, the current protest going on, but in a way he sent out a message that uh, violence is no solution, and in that context he also pointed out that eight Assam militant groups have surrendered, they have laid down arms, and in fact 644 militants have surrendered. Similarly, he said even in Tripura. So what he was trying to say is that even in Northeast, the normalcy is returning, peace is returning to Northeast, and in that context, he specifically mentioned about an accord. Yes, he Blue and Riang yeah. Accord with the Ministry of Home Affairs that exactly. they have signed. Exactly. That also was a pointer that there can be peaceful solution to all the problems. So specifically mentioning the peace returning to Northeast, and in that context, he talked about the games, Kelo India, which has been very successfully conducted in Guwahati and he in fact went on to individually name some of the players. He said 6,000 participants were there, uh, medal winners, a large number of them were girls. The same breath he said that uh, now Kelo India at the university level will also be held next year in Orissa. So fitness also came up during his discussion. He said during exam and although he has already talked to the students, but he again mentioned that there should be fitness in school and there should be you know, some exercise the students should do along with their examination. I think in that context he talked about the Gaganyan, very significant announcement the Prime Minister said that on the 75th anniversary of India's independence, 2022, India would be sending out an astronaut in the space and four Indian Air Force officers, young officers have been shortlisted, they will be undergoing training in Russia. So that was also a very significant announcement he made. I think uh, if you look at the beginning, he talked about the Manaki Bhat Charter. He said that all the issues were taken up uh, by the people through mass movement and uh, it has helped also in public participation, whether it is sanitation. And he also devoted quite a lot of time on water conservation, the experiments which have been uh, very successful in Rajasthan, in UP, in Tamil Nadu and Uttarakhand. In fact, he mentioned uh, the innovative idea of uh, harnessing the borewell from rainwater harvesting in Tamil Nadu. So, Prime Minister, in fact, sometimes you see that he recalls the initiatives which his government has taken and therefore keep reminding the people that all these issues and all these campaigns can be successful only through participation of the people. So today he talked about this Padma Awards also. He said, And he made a very critical point there. He said that in 2014, when the previous regime demitted office, from then to today, there has been a 20-fold increase in the nominations for Padma Awards. 
which means that it has now gone to the grassroots and people from grassroots are nominating each other and the spread has clearly made them instead of padma awards he called them people's award he said no because there is a people participation nominations are invited from the general public and 36000 nominations were received and he congratulated all the padma award winners but he also made it a point and asked the people to try to know these winners of padma awards about their life what their contribution to the society has been and it will be very interesting if the younger generation in particular tries to understand who these uh, people were in every field whether it was public life or art culture or theater or even sports or film so i think making a special mention about the padma award i think it's very interesting because the padma awards were announced yesterday and the prime minister made a mention of it so i think overall it's a continuation of the man ki baat as he said that there is a charter of man ki baat and uh, he keeps on reminding people about the issues which have been there whether it is sanitation but quite a lot of emphasis was made on water conservation and uh, the health such a large population it is uh, quite imperative mr tandon that uh, people genuinely participate in water conservation because otherwise no amount of governmental activity or governmental support or government's push can probably lead to the kind of results that we are looking at certainly because it is a major issue water is a major issue and that's why he keeps reminding people to make it a mass movement with the participation of the people the government efforts alone cannot solve this problem and he in fact mentioned the states uh, which have contributed quite a lot in this uh, field so he never forgets to remind the people about uh, water conservation also sanitation whether it is swachh bharat abhiyan so that people don't forget the initiatives which he has taken and we have already become mass movement so there should not be any slackness so in that context water conservation was given quite a lot of time by the prime minister in his man ki baat today and uh, another very important aspect that he touched upon was fitness he talked about hum fit to india fit and he also said that all of us have to remind ourselves that our daily involvement or engagement with the physical activity becomes a practice and uh, similarly in schools and colleges and all other institutions he talked about physical fitness and i think mr tandon there cannot be any more appropriate moment or forum or time to discuss physical fitness in this country because despite a large population of ours still being poor we have largest number of diabetic people we have largest number of people suffering from blood pressure we have largest number of children suffering from malnutrition so in that sense the focus on fitness and fitness of the country fitness of the people can probably never be overstated certainly because see fitness is related to the health services because if the fitness level of the society is less than normal obviously the pressure would be on the health services as we call it precaution is better than cure so prevention is better than cure so prevention is obviously through fitness and uh, in that context uh, he in fact uh, appealed to the students and he said the school level fitness should be there and even during your exam the students should continue to do some exercise or the other and uh, I, this is again another issue fitness which prime minister keeps hammering practically in every episode of man ki baat because these are interrelated although the government has unfolded a large number of health schemes but if the society is not careful about its uh, fitness level that means the normal health then obviously the pressure would come on the health services so in that context this is again one of those issues which he keeps reminding people practically in every man ki baat and then when he was talking about north east peace initiatives and overarchingly peace in society he also talked about khelo india large program and then he specially picked on children from not so strong sections of the society who have done tremendously exceedingly well at this uh, national sports festival so in that sense he was also motivating that strata of population which probably may not be economically very strong but he was pointing out towards the fact that strong will and determination can catapult people from such segments also 
to fame and uh, all kind of prosperity yes he in fact uh, singled out several individual players also winners in these games boys and girls put together and uh, named those players the background from which they have come the area which they have come to send out a message that uh, for sports these things don't matter which economic background you are coming from which caste background you are coming from or from which region in fact uh, very lighter way in he talked of uh, beckham he said uh, the world renowned football beckham is but today we also have a beckham who has not won anything in football but in cycling and uh, nicobar island all these things so i think uh, this is one way of motivating people as you also said from all segments of the society and he said very large number of new records have been established in this game for which girls played a very significant role so quite a lot of time was devoted fitness and related issues like sports and in that context he said that now we want to start khelo india games at the university level also because these were youth but now university level so quite a lot of uh, emphasis is on fitness level and sports uh, which again the prime minister keeps reminding the people in practically every man ki baat episode and other than sports youth and education of the youth he also talked about soldiers at least his hashtag about soldiers was certainly prominently featured so on a day when the nation is celebrating its republic day it was most appropriate that he also did remember and did mention about soldiers contribution to society so in that sense his overarching attempt is that the sections or the strata that need the focus that need people's participation movements that need people's involvement are all over encompassingly involved in some way or the other certainly because uh, man ki baat is one forum which is uh, listened to and seen on television channel across the country in practically every nook and corner and it has become and people in fact wait for the man ki baat so that they can interact with the prime minister and that's why he begins the man ki baat episode with some kind of a feedback which he has received and this time initially he devoted couple of minutes on the man ki baat charter and he liked the idea of that person who was talking about it so it's not a just a one way dialogue it is a participative dialogue which the prime minister hold and that makes it lively because it's not uh, just a lecture being given to the society but the issues which are immediately agitating the society are also touched upon the festivals which are there during this month are also touched upon and the achievements by cross section of the society including whether it is in sports or any other field that also becomes part of it and in that context the historic uh, agreement signed in delhi which he said due to the festival season perhaps people have not noticed it and that's why he is mentioning it specifically in man ki baat about the problem which has been lingering for the last about 25 years and these brew and uh, the young people who have been living the refugee crisis and they have been facing and now it has been peacefully resolved and uh, again taking cue from the peace returning to the northeast he made a general appeal for peaceful solution of the problem and also making it quite clear that violence has no place in the society thank you mr random thank you you were listening to a discussion on prime minister's address to the nation in man ki baat the participants were ashok tandon political analyst and nikunj garg journalist This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. This program is also available on our website newsonair.com. You can also follow us on the News on AIR app for updates. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsttalks@gmail.com.